morning fam and welcome back to my channel if you don't know who I am or what the ah, Jesus is so humid here in Florida hold on Can you catch a break better better Ooh, foggy again ah all right take two All right, we're gonna try this again inside since they're so freaking humid out there. Anywho, my name is Stephanie. Welcome to my channel. If you guys don't know who I am, I am a professional bikini bodybuilder. Um, I've been doing this for the past, what, four years? I started back in 2014. Um, and I literally, I just recently got off stage from prep. So my last show was the Mile High in Denver back in the beginning of June. It is June. 28th today, I believe. I just said it earlier. Anyway, um, so after that show, um, I came in with a pretty good physique, and the problem was that my metabolism wasn't where it needed to be. Um, I had to get down to really, really low calories, and my cardio I had to bring up pretty high um, to be able to get to the physique that I wanted to, and Honestly, I didn't even get to the physique that I wanted to. I wanted to be leaner and just my body wasn't reacting. Every time I lower down the calories and increase the cardio, like it just hit a plateau. It just didn't want to drop anymore. So my body just didn't want to react and it didn't want to keep going. And especially at the calories that I was at, I was very, very low. So I was pulled back by my coach and, you know, we kind of talked it out and we we're like, okay, you know, it's, it's, can, you know what can we do now and we decided you know we need to do a lean reverse diet so what that means is trying to get my calories as high as possible while not putting on much body fat or at all so I want to be able to grow and I want to be able to condition my physique to be able to one get my legs to be smaller because that's one of the concerns that the coaches like the judges were always giving me um, and bring down my, you know, bring down the, the size of my legs, come in leaner on my tie-in, and just be leaner overall. So that's the plan as of now. And I'm honestly going to, you know, be tracking everything. Um, I'm a very determined person when it comes to dieting and training and cardio. Like, I usually don't fall off. So it's, and the reason why I do it is because it's more of an experimental um, concept for me so if I decide to cheat or do something different then I can't tell if it's my, that my program is working or not so I'm very very strict <laughs> anyway and you guys will see this and if you guys have been following me on Instagram you guys will be able to tell that I always even bring my scale everywhere anyway um, so I headed over to flex this morning and I got my measurements done with their fit 3d body scan and then you're going to wait about 15 seconds and then you're going to pull the handles up. You're going to keep your arms straight. Don't press the buttons yet. Keep your arms locked out and then whenever you go, whenever you're ready to go, press and pull the buttons and you're going to spin all the way around like you did before. So you are ready whenever you're ready. Um, and then he, it also gave me my, my body fat percentage and Roberto also pinched me just to see like my, my fat percentage when he pinched me. However, he only pinched my stomach and that's probably the leanest part of my body, to be completely honest. And so it, that one said 15%, the Fit3D said it was 20%. Okay. So according to just my belly one, my body fat percentage on my belly, it's about 15%? Yeah. Okay. So next week we're gonna see how I am and then obviously how I change. And then I'm getting one of those, I can just measure myself out too. 
even though like my stomach's like the only place I feel like I don't hold that much fat. Yeah. So. That would be the best one is for you to constantly do it, like get really good at measuring yourself and then you can go off of that. Like you won't necessarily get the accurate body fat, but you'll get a consistent body fat measurement with this and doing it at home. Like the more and more you do it, the better off it'll be. Right, because the machine was telling me I was 20%, so we'll be doing the DEXA scan on Friday at, in Colorado, so we'll see what that one says, so till then. But we'll see what my true body fat percentage is, well, it's really hard to tell what your true body fat percentage is depending, on, you know, all machines are different. Anyway, I'll be getting a more accurate reading on Friday when I go to Denver. So the plan is, is to get these scans, measurement scans done and body fat percentage done two to three, one or two times per, per month. Um, so like every other week or once or every third week, that way we can see how exactly the body is changing how the body is reacting and if the calories and the this new diet plan and the cardio are working where they need to be okay so here are my stats right now as of this morning this is my routine posing for like a show this is what it looks like and as you can tell like you know um fairly lean um i am sitting around five pounds over actually around like five pounds over stage weight or so four to five um i am 122.7 the machine over there said i was 122.5 so it, i keep i have the past three weeks i've been pretty much sitting around 122.5 and 123 so it's around there um so those are my posing bikini posing um and here are my normal posings. So what I've been wanting to do and what I've noticed is like as I get leaner, my butt also gets smaller. Obviously that's where I store most of my fat. So the goal is to bring down my quads and hamstr like my quads and my whole leg size in general, and then bring up my glutes so they can look even bigger. Boom. Um, so we'll see, we'll, I'll keep you guys updated on this whole journey. I think it's gonna be, gonna be really fun. Um, it's about really reversing my physique, my body, my metabolism, and really being able to not have this issue. Um, another thing that I wanna fix in this whole journey is not just like a physical aspect, but also a internal one. So with my hormones, I wanna make sure that they're do you know are great i know they're so out of whack um and yeah one like i'll be getting my my blood test done on friday when i go to denver as well but my hormones are all out of whack i haven't had a period since last year and it's one of those things that comes with competing i've been competing non-stop for the past four years and just my time of the month has been very on like yeah not there or not consistent so we want to get that back i want to have regular bowel movements which is something that i struggle with um and we have to figure out what it is i have s several theories of what is going on with me it could be between you know like my fats being too high but i mean i've had calories up to 3500 calories in my last off season and i still did not get my period and i still had really bad bowel movements and the bowel movements could also be due to hormonal issues as well so once those get fixed hopefully everything gets fixed again and it might just take a little bit for it to get back to normal um and then lastly i think those are pretty much my three main things it's just my physique my hormones and my bowel movements and i'll probably put in more information later on but i think i'm going to conclude this video here with my whole explanation and i'll talk to you guys on the next video and let's do this